Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a fantastic rack. I've got the blank. Surely I have a bingo. I have entrees with the blank as an S. And, well, probably quite a few eights as well. So I'm optimistic of bingoing, regardless of what opponent plays. So what if opponent changes? It would be best to, well, I don't need to concern myself with that. The best lane is column five, double, double through the I. So what do I have? Through that I, with the blank as an S, eternize, doesn't get doubled. Does that have an anagram? Surely it does. Okay, I'm going to squeeze through the alphabet, having in mind an I on my rack. Not seen anything so far. Three E's is slightly hampering the likelihood of bingos. Wow, that looks jolly close. Still not seeing anything. I will have bingos available because filter takes an S. Gosh, absolutely nothing has come to mind with the oh, through that eye. I could be missing ludes. So this is the Eternize rack. Teensia. I feel there could be something else. Teensia also doesn't work in terms of reaching the second double word square. No. Okay, so what's best? Do I have anything ending or beginning with E? That would be a four E word, unlikely. So do I play on trays. I think I do. I spent a while and I don't think a play is going to be much better than this unless I've overlooked a double double. 69 points. It would be 70 a play through the F. I'm going with this. Oh, good grief. What a horror show. My initial reaction here is to change. This is pretty grim. I liked entrees in that it didn't put vowels next to premium squares. It doesn't have a front hook. But I have provided a ton of floaters. So if opponent bingos now and I change, I could be chasing the game. Uwu, U -W -U is a word that's expected to come in with the next update, but even if that was playable now, the rack leave of double M, W and E, not particularly great. So what's the best I could do? I think Moo Moo is good, but I'm not seeing anywhere great for that. I'm minded to change keeping just the E. But look at this, there are three E's on the board, so maybe I should change all seven to increase my chances of drawing the second blank. Opponent taking a while with this play. Could be close to a bingo. I must resist revisiting this eye to see what I missed and focus on this current rack. Often when I change, about 50% of the time, there's a better play available. But having said that, it doesn't make it any easier to spot. Now, it's the beginning of the month, just about, so brand new videos up on Patreon for all supporters of the channel. 
over there, for which I'm very grateful. They include games against Hastybot, Blitz Games, and also on the crossword side, a Mephisto Solve and some quick crossword solves. So brand new videos on the first of the month, every month, and the full back catalogue available. And the link just below this video. Now, opponent spent more time looking for their play than I spent over the Entrees play, which seemed to take a while. Entrees has provided so many good floaters. Now, opponent plays Day. Day does not take an A in front. I think it's Days which takes an A. I am changing. I can't bring myself. Well, yes, all three E's are still available. So, I have Logania. Does that play anywhere? I don't think it does. Phi takes nothing, so there are no seven-letter lanes on the board. Nothing before or after Phi. Yeah, and no long overlapping plays are available. So, how about the floaters? What about the E? Not seeing anything. This is already a vowel heavy rack. N duplicates a tile I've got. Now, does Logania play? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, this rack plus a T. Galt Galtonia? I think that's good. I think Galtonia is good. Does it have an anagram? Galtonia. Okay, how about the R? Not seeing anything. E already considered. L. Well, that doesn't get doubled. T doesn't get doubled in filters. So I think I'll, I shall try Galtonia for 70. And it's good. Fantastic. And look at this pick. Excellent. From an S, I would have Spear Gun. But no available S's. Can I have back-to-back -back bingos. This is a wide open board. There are lots of floaters. Sometimes you have boards with no floaters or a limited number, but a fair few are available. GN, well, not so useful. They're bingo -y tiles because of ING ending words, but I don't have an 8 ending ING. So, is there a 7 here? I have the un prefix, I have the pre prefix. Not seeing a seven. What about the E? Doesn't look good. How about the N? I have the gun prefix. Great, just 24 for opponent. I lead by 40. Nothing with the N. How about the I? So not ING, but does, how about an anagram? No, and A doesn't look good. R, not really available. Because I have nothing to hook with eager, which I think is just an S. How about L? No, T. No, and this R. Gosh, I hope I'm not missing a bingo here. 15 minutes on my clock. So, in terms of scoring potential, I have the F down to the triple word square. And I would like to get rid of the U, G and P. Well, that's not going to happen bottom left. What about a play in row K? My E would have to go here. P or G could go underneath the DI.
So I have Genoa keeping PR, and that turns over five tiles, which is quite handy. I think drawing an S would be good for Goltonias. I just feel that this rack is, is bingo-y, but I'm not sure why. Could it be the E? Not seeing it. So I'm not seeing it anywhere for Unpeg. I have Repune, which turns over even more tiles. What about playing Pug? Well, nowhere for that. I'm thinking about playing across with the P above the I, but I'm not seeing anything there. I quite like playing under fix. It stops the pawn and playing down from the F. So Genoa was what I saw. Oh, wow, setting up this Z spot. But 27 points, and I am setting up a P spot. I'm going with this. Oh, wow. No... No S's, no vowels. Crypt would sort the rack out. And I have pricey through the I. Opponent may have something to go above this A. Hopefully not J or Z. But, well, he does have the J, but only to score once less than 30 points. So that's a bit of a let off for me. Now, what about Crimpy? If that's good, it's a lot of points and it totally sorts the rack out. And it's good. And look at this. I have Amaretz, Omertas and Maestro. Maestro plays in column 15. Wow. Will that stay available? And if it's blocked, I've got Maestro and Jaws. What a turnaround. Seven consonants to this. And I already lead by about 80 points. And I have an unblockable bingo. It just shows the importance of pausing and looking for a better move once you've found a good one. I liked Pricey, but Crimpy significantly better. If I'd retained the M, I may have had double M on my rack with no bingo. So I have Eero Teamers down from the E. I think Maestro is going to score the most because I'll get all the points from Goltonia. So, still one blank to come. I had the first blank on my opening rack. Okay, opponent takes out that S spot. Fair enough, 41 points. I have Maestro here. Is that still better than Aero Teamers? It surely is. Or is it? Yes, it is. And it's not setting up anything massive. And it's the only anagram which hooks jaw. I could play Maestro in column 12. That's not going to score as much. I'm going with this. And I draw the Z in an otherwise vowel-heavy rack. So, where does my Z play? I have Trez through the R. That may get blocked. Can I get my Z on this double letter square above the R of filters? ZE is good. So I'm looking for a vertical play, and I'm not seeing one. A G would help to sort the rack out with Gauze. Wow, opponent changes, leaving alone Trez. That's handy. Do I have anything better? Through a, from a D, I would have Dioitzia, Diatzia. As you write, through an R. That doesn't quite work. The trouble with Trez is that it leaves four vowels. 
But if I draw the queue, that would be good. Am I overlooking any hot Z smarts? I quite like the idea of taking out this double letter square, although I'm not putting a vowel next to that square. There are scoring tiles which can go there. The K could go there, for example, and the B or the W. I'm just wondering if I've got any, any other Z plays through this R apart from Trez. Dursey with a D. Asia doesn't reach. Trez for 42. Wow, and I'm, I fortunately draw three consonants having kept four vowels. So often it feels like you're punished for retention of vowels or consonants with more of the same, but not in this instance. And I have a 150 point lead. However, still 31 tiles to come and back to back bingos for opponent. Would see us close. That hasn't happened this turn. So what to do? I, I well, isn't Bunny a good? I think it is. That turns over a lot of tiles, scores decently, sorts the rack out, and occupies space which opponent needs for bingos. Great. Well, not a bingo, but balanced and scoring tiles with vowels means I should be aiming to get 30 or so points and if opponent needs back-to-back -back bingos then a 30 point play is effectively half a bingo and that should help keep me in front. Chine takes nothing in front. Bai takes E and S afterwards. So just my B goes in front of this I. I'm looking to play off two, two or three of my scoring tiles. That may not be possible. I have a vow. Oh, well, what about a vow in column 13? That's not bad. Obstructs column 14 as a bingo lane or removes it. And the W in row O, not particularly dangerous because a high scoring tile can't go on the double letter square. And BEI is a balanced rack leave. Still away out from the end game. But I feel the end game is close, or the pre end game is close. Now, anything better than a vow? That's only going to score about 20 points. The floating E of entree, pretty handy for bingos, but it's difficult to take that out and score. Now I have wave W A V E and W A I V E and wave. They don't play bottom right. Bunnier takes an S. I could play wave, getting the W tripled, taking out this lane, and that's going to score about as much as a vow. So I think that's my preferred play. I don't think there are any extensions of pays. G takes an I and an O after it. And Viger only an S. Great, just 14 for opponent. Kit takes an E and an S and an H. So opponent has set up a lane. Which I can take out. For a lowly score. So I can play Wove for 26, setting up a pretty hot lane. Can I? Wow, well, what about instead of that doing Vibe? And then opponents can't score off this triple word square and would need to burn an S to get value from Kite. 23 points and the W is a decent scoring tile. Yeah, I am going with this. 
I draw the Q having just th thrown in an I. So there's QI above filters, which is quite nice because that takes out this E. But the rest of the rack is really unbalanced. This is the first problematic rack I've had to face. But that doesn't mean one has played badly. It's just luck of the draw, what you draw. And I think AWO was a reasonable keep. Now through an M, I would have Korma, M of Maestro. Where's the other M? Crimpy. Onto an F, I would have Wakf. Just 27 for opponent, which is fine. So I think this is the play. QI stops opponent bingoing through that E. Rack leaves horrendous. But I think the best opponent can manage now is a solitary bingo, perhaps through the Z of Trez. So, Chi. For, I'm just looking around. Is there really no other... Onto a T. Oh, well, yeah, I have two A's. So surely Cat is better. Turning over one more tile. Breaking up the duplicate A. Still blocking this E. Am I overlooking any big scores? Where are the T's? They've all been played. Yeah, I think this is the, the best spot. And well, this is fine given the extent of my lead. W is a useful scoring tile. I'm just looking to absolutely nail the board down. The opponent could bingo through the Z. The remaining tiles are super bingo-y, but he's not going to have a bingo ending in Z or she. So that's going to be face value. And Cat has not only taken out the E, it's also taken out row E for bingo's ending O-I-U. Or the same with an S. So, where am I going to score with my W? 1 is good, so I have 1 and OK. Now, opponent still bravely opening new lanes. Column 3. So, I'm minded to, to block those. I can do that here, well, two ways, various ways of blocking that. But I think Auri scores the most, turns over five tiles with only seven in the bag. The opponent will get value from the W by placing a vowel there, but that's nothing compared to bingoing. I could place this one square higher up for fewer points. But then opponent could use the blank as a C and score more in row A. I think this is very fine distinctions. I'm going with this. So, six vowels. Opponent's got super bingo -y rack. Does he have a bingo through this Z? And he could have a massive overlap, overlapping Auri, but it's unlikely. And it won't win the game. So, what am I going to do? Audio looks like a way of making inroads into this rack. Not sure there's anywhere for that. I have Zooid through the Z, keeping AIU. Great, just 19 for opponent. And opponent has emptied the bag. Is there a bingo for them through the Z? I don't think so. In which case I needn't concern myself with it. And if opponent can't bingo... Can I go out in two? That's the challenge. Six minutes on my clock. How to go out in two? Do I have a play through this R? Don't think I do. 
Nothing I've got goes in front of W.O. It's a shame there is no air for audio. So if I played Zooid, I would have A.I.U. Kuia doesn't work. Not seeing anything. Five minutes on my clock. My opponent could play through the Z, so Zooid is attractive. But do I have any other Z plays? I have Azido. Let me see what that looks like. Keeping I O U. Fifteen points and Zuid would keep A I U. What do I have with the Q? Nothing. Five minutes on my clock. Wow, I feel that there is an out in two here. But what is it? Do I have any U plays with the Z? I don't think so. No M's for Meow. I have Jow from the J. Such a shame audio doesn't play anywhere. Am I sure about that? Okay, I'm just going to play Zooid for 17. So I have nowhere for AIU, but I've got such a big lead. I'm not going to spend time fussing too much about this. Fourteen for opponent, doesn't provide an out, nothing obvious for me to block, so orc for eleven. Do I have two outs for my eye? I have id and moi, but opponent goes out. And the final score, 287 for opponent, 445 for me, a winning margin of 158 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. What a contrast to recent games as well with such a big margin of victory. So, opponent to go first, Mr. Bingo. Wow, Firelit and Fitly are both tricky to see. And these are certainly bingos I've missed in the past. Now, what did I miss through that eye? Retinine. And that's the only double-double. Gosh. Okay. G2, preteen. There is a massive overlap. So what do I do? I play entrees for 69, but providing a ton of floaters. So I think preteen and retinine were the better plays. Opponent's rack. Plays day. Interesting. C9. Unmu through this N. 22 points, keeping M U W. 22 points is a lot, given that a blank is only worth 25 and an S is worth 8 to 10. And the rack leave isn't the worst possible, so I think unmu was better than changing. Opponent plays Fix, and wow, Goltonia is the only bingo, so it looks like it doesn't have an anagram. Delighted to spot that. Opponent plays Vega. Phew, this was the rack. I thought there may be a bingo. K2, Peeg and Dip for 30, retaining the U. However, UNR isn't terrible because U goes well with N and with R. Genoa for 27, slightly off the pace. 
and setting up this big spot. But look at this, opponent with seven consonants. Can't get maximum value from that place, jaw. And I also have seven consonants, and I have... Well, I play crimpy. B14. Crampy available through this A for four more points, same rack leave. Yeah, the entire play shifted across, but Crampy provides access to column 15, so I, I think these plays are pretty much identical. And Crimpy is less volatile. Opponent plays Pay, so, well, actually, Crampy would have obstructed column 15 plays onto Goltonia, so probably would have been better. Now, look at this dream rack. Maestro for 86 and a ton of other options. So at this point I'm two bingos in front and that's a nice feeling with a third of the game to go. Opponent changes and I have Trez for 42, nothing obviously better. Opponent back to seven consonants, plays Chine. And I play Bunnier for 25, but C7. Wow, a Ginner playable. Sneaking through the middle of China and Goltonia. But I think Bunnier is better. It's only one point less, and I think E is better than Bun. Opponent still struggling with consonants. Plays Kit. N2, View. Yeah, for 31 points, but opponents have set up a pretty hot lane. And by only eight fewer points, so I don't think that's terrible. Opponent burns their S for less than 30 points. And now I've got a 160 point lead, so I think this game is mine. And Cat helps to ensure that it is by taking out a bingo lane. So no bingos for opponent. I suspect there would have been ones through that E. Opponent plays Defy, setting up a new lane. And I block that with Auri, which is fine. It's not this Auri. F9. Auri through the R of filters. But C3 for the same number of points, I think is a better play because I'm taking out a bingo lane. Opponent has no bingo, plays do, and here we go. This is the end game. Ooh, idle, N10. Onto the L, leaving IU. Just looking around to see if there are any T's or N's for me to go out with IU. Two E is good and uni. So possibly that would have been an out in two. Nothing else obviously is. So I play Zuid for 17. Opponent no bingo plays Ruse. I have no out. And I play Orc for 11. I could have got 19. C7. For again. Between Chine and Goltonia. And finally. Opponent gets 19. Could have got 20. So, what a game. Absolutely rip-roaring stuff. High scoring in the mid-400s. And a la very large margin of victory. So, super exciting stuff. Many thanks to opponent for a good game. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.